So hi everyone and welcome to another session of PIB Current Affairs where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. So let's begin with the session without any delay but before we begin if you are coming here for the first time do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group once again yeah you can also join this telegram group here you will get the PDF of this session after the session is completed and you can also follow me here. Here also you can ask any doubt. So let's talk about the very first question which is regarding the Leeds report 2021. So you have to consider the following statements with respect to Leeds report 2021 and you have to identify the correct statement. All right. So let's talk about the Leeds report. Now what is the full form of Leeds by the way? It is logistics is across different states. Logistics is across different states is the full form of Leeds. And it has been launched by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry headed by Mr. Piyush Goel. Okay, Piyush Goel is the Minister of Commerce and Industry and he is also the leader in Rajya Sabha. He is also the leader in Rajya Sabha, Mr. Piyush Goel. So the Ministry of Commerce and Industry has launched this logistic ease across different states which in short is Leeds Report the 2021 edition. And do remember its very first edition was launched in the year 2018. Now what is the objective of launching this report? So this report guys remember ranks the states and UTs on the basis of efficiency of their logistic system. Jo states or UTs ka logistic system kitna efficient hai uske basis pe this report ranks the states and UTs. Now talking about the report so there are three dimensions which means the report is based on three dimension. Number one is the infrastructure of the logistic number two services and number three operating and regulatory environment and there are 21 indicators. Now please don't get confused between the dimensions and the indicators. There are three dimensions and 21 indicators and of course you need not remember the name of all the 21 indicators. Usko rakhne ki koi zarurat nahi hai. All right. Now there are three categories of states. The states are divided into three categories. Number one the normal states, number two northeastern states and Himalayan UTs. And number three, other UTs. Other me kaun hai jo Himalayan UTs nahi hai, uske alawa. All right. Now top performers ab hum ranking ki baat karein. So once again, Gujarat is at number one for the third time. Gujarat is ranked number one, followed by Haryana and Punjab, which are at rank two and three. In the northeastern states and Himalayan UTs, number one pe it is Jammu and Kashmir, then number two Sikkim, and then number three Meghalaya. And among the other UTs, Delhi is at the top position. Now talking about the top improvers, if we talk improvers, ki baat kare, so the top improver is Uttar Pradesh followed by Uttarakhand and Jharkhand. All right. So this is regarding this report and now let's come back to the question. Question is you have to identify the correct statement. All right. So Gujarat emerged as the top state. This is absolutely correct followed by Haryana and Punjab. First edition of Leeds report was launched in 2018. Yes, this is also correct. Delhi emerged as top UT in the category of other UTs. Yes, so this, this is also correct, which means option D all are correct guys will be the correct answer. Now moving ahead to question number two, which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. Now the question is why we are discussing the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. We are discussing it because recently 17 scientists from different scientific institutions across the country have been awarded this fellowship. Satra scientists, alag alag scientific institutions ke unko Swarna Jayanti fellowship award kiya gaya hai. Now why this uh, fellowship ha uh, has been awarded to these scientists for their innovative research ideas and their potential of creating a, an impact in the area of research and development. All right. Now let's talk about the Swarna Jayanti fellowship. So remember it was launched in the year 1997 on the occasion of uh, on the occasion of 50 years of India's independence by Ministry of Science and Technology. The duration of fellowship guys is five years. Five years ki duration ki fellowship hoti hai isme and support ki agar hum baat kare, so rupees 20,000 per month is provided for five years to the fellows and fellowship holders and a research grant of rupees 5 lakh for five years is also provided by Department of Science and Technology. Okay and also remember that this support this 25,000 per month for five years and this research grant is provided in addition to the salary which are which they are drawing from their parent institution because of course these are scientists they are they must be working in any uh, institution or in any uh, you know organization so se bhi unko salary mil rahi hogi. so this support is in addition to their salary which they are drawing from their parent institution all right 
सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन सो इट वॉज लॉन्च इन नाइनटीन दिस इज एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट इट इज बिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन इज दैट सो नो इट इज बिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी and who is the minister of science and technology by the way it's dr jitendra singh dr jitendra singh he is also the minister of earth sciences his lok sabha constituency is udhampur which is in jammu and kashmir and here we have to identify one incorrect statement which means option b will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number 3 name the campaign which has been launched by department of justice to empower people through pre litigation advice litigation se pehle jo advice di jati hai उसके रिगार्डिंग लोगों को एम्पावर करने के लिए डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस ने कैंपेन लॉन्च किया है यू जस्ट हैव टू नेम द कैंपेन रिमेंबर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस इज ऑफ कोर्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय मिस्टर किरण रिजिजू हिज लोकसभा कंस्टिट्यूएंसी इज अरुणाचल वेस्ट अरुणाचल वेस्ट इज द लोकसभा कंस्टिट्यूएंसी ऑफ किरण रिजिजू नाउ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस हैज लॉन्च दिस न्यू कैंपेन व्हिच इज नोन एज टेली लॉ ऑन व्हील्स टेली लॉ ऑन व्हील्स इज द नेम ऑफ द कैंपेन दैट हैज बीन लॉन्च्ड This has been launched to empower people through pre-litigation advice for claiming their entitlements and for timely redressal of their grievances. All right. Remember, the campaign was started on 8 November and it will continue till 14 November, birthday of Chacha Nehru, and it is being conducted with the aid of CSC e-governance. CSC e-governance ki madad se isko conduct kiya ja raha hai. And there is one app which has been launched, which is known as Tally Law Mobile App. Tele Law Mobile App be launch hoy now. What is the use of this app? This app guys would connect the beneficiaries directly with the panel lawyers, who give legal advice offer kar rahe honge ya kar rahe hai. All right. So Tele Law Mobile App yaad rakhenge. Tele Law Mobile App has been launched under this Tele Law on Wheels campaign. All right. And also remember, this was launched by Department of Justice, which is under the Ministry of Law and Justice, headed by Mr. Kiran Rijiju. So therefore, the correct answer will be what option A, Tele Law on Wheels. Tele Law on Wheels is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number four, which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to Star College scheme? Now, once again, the question arises: Why we are discussing about the Star College scheme? So we are discussing about Star College scheme because recently, Ministry of Science and Technology, headed by Dr. Jitendra Singh, has launched a program which is known as Star College Mentorship Program under the Star College scheme. Now, what is the objective of this program? The objective, guys, of this program is to strengthen the undergraduate science courses. Undergraduate science courses को strengthen करना चाहती है सरकार throughout the country by providing mentorship to the new colleges. And this mentorship will be provided by the star-rated colleges under the Star College scheme. Okay. आगे चलते हैं talking about Star College scheme. <coughs> so, इस scheme का objective है to support colleges and universities offering undergraduate education to improve science uh, teaching across the country and also to improve critical thinking and encouraging experimental science at undergraduate level in basic science subjects remember the scheme the star college scheme was launched in the year 2008 and the implementing agency is department of biotechnology and now here please don't get confused between the department of biotechnology and department of science and technology both works under the ministry of science and technology but both are the different departments okay and under the scheme the support the support is provided to a star college star marked college for a maximum period of 3 years 3 saalon tak hi maximum unko support provide karaya jata hai and this support guys is basically mentorship support unko bataya jata hai jo unki uh, jo teachers ki skills hai wo improve ki jati hai unka infrastructure improve kiya jata hai wagaira wagaira all right so this was about uh, this question and uh, star college scheme mein aapko incorrect uh, statement identify karna hai The scheme was launched in 2008. Absolutely correct. Under the scheme, the support is being provided to a star-marked college for a maximum duration of three years. Correct. Star College Mentorship Program has been launched by the Ministry of Science and Technology. It is also correct. Implementing Agency is Department of Science and Technology. No, this is not Department of Science and Technology. That's Department of Biotechnology. So the correct answer will be what option D. And of course, the nodal ministry is Ministry of Science and Technology. So option D is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number five, consider the following statements with respect to leadership group for industry transition, which in short is Lead IT, Lead IT. Okay, uh, and you have to identify the incorrect statement. Now again, again, ये सवाल खड़ा होता है कि why we are discussing about this Lead IT because recently, recently a summit, Lead IT summit 2021 was held under the chairship of India and Sweden. Now why these two countries? Because this Lead IT Was launched by the governments of India and Sweden only, 
and during which event during united nation climate action summit in the year 2019 this lead it was launched all right and do remember the full form of lead it leadership group for energy uh, industry transition all right remember it is supported by world economic forum and it is basically a group of countries and certain companies which are committed towards achieving the goals of uh, paris agreement all right now moving ahead there are total 16 member countries under this one second one second guys yeah yes so there are total 16 member countries including india and there are total 19 member companies and there are various companies from india like spicejet mahindra group and dalmia cement and its secretariat do remember is not hosted by world economic forum though it is being supported by world economic forum its secretariat is ho hosted by stockholm environment institute which of course is in stockholm which is the capital of sweden okay so isse zyada isme padhne ki zarurat nahi hai itna hi kafi rahega aage chalte hain come let's come back to the question then all right so you have to identify the incorrect statement out of these four it was launched in 2018 by governments of india and sweden see it was launched by the governments of india and sweden but not in 2018 it was launched in 2019 There are sixteen member countries and nineteen member companies. This is absolutely correct. It is supported by World Bank. Is that so? No. It is supported by World Economic Forum. Its secretariat is located in Geneva. No. Once again, it is incorrect. Stockholm. Stockholm में इसका secretariat. So one, three, and four are incorrect. जो कि option में नहीं है. So let's say कि इसको मान लेते हैं one, three, and four. क्योंकि हमें incorrect statement identify करना है one, three, and four. I'll make this correction in the PDF. Option B, only one, three, and four is the correct answer. Let's move ahead to question number six. Then, name how many functionaries functionaries will be trained every year under the central sector scheme in service training and sensitization of key functionaries of central and state government and local bodies. I understand, बहुत बड़ा नाम है और इसमें से कोई बहुत ज़्यादा difficult question आएगा भी नहीं इस scheme में से. So आपको पूरा सब कुछ याद रखने की there is no need. And remember, this scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, which is headed by Dr. वीरेंद्र कुमार डॉक्टर वीरेंद्र कुमार लोकसभा कंस्टिट्युएंसी गाइस रिमेंबर इज टीकमगढ़ और ये 1996 से वहां से एमपी है नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस सो यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एंपावरमेंट डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह हैज लॉन्च्ड हैज लॉन्च्ड द ट्रेनिंग मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम और बार-बार मैं नाम भी लूंगा बहुत बड़ा है रिमेंबर दिस मॉड्यूल हैज बीन डेवलप्ड बाय रिहैबिलिटेशन काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस इज नॉट अ न्यू स्कीम दिस इज नॉट अ न्यू स्कीम दिस इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड सिंस द ईयर 2015-16 ऑल राइट and the scheme proposes that under the scheme 10000 functionaries will be trained every year through the short term training programs and till now till now 13000 till now 13000 functionaries have been trained under this particular scheme okay so the correct answer should be what kyunki yahan pe every year ka pucha hai so every year the scheme proposes to train 10000 people option c will be the correct answer Now moving ahead to the last question for the day, with which country's Directorate of Defence (DRDO) has signed an MOU to, pro uh, to promote innovation and accelerated R&D research and development in startups and MSMEs? Remember, DRDO has signed uh, this MOU with Directorate of Defence of Israel. Option C, Israel is the correct answer. DRDO chairperson is G. Satish Reddy, and this news में इससे ज़्यादा पढ़ने की कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है, इतना ही काफ़ी है. G. Satish Reddy and Israel Prime Minister Naftali Bennett from Yamina Party. From Yamina Party, all right, and of course Israel की जो Parliament है उसको क्या बोलते हैं Neset, all right. So that's it for the session today, guys. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And अब से जो session होगा, that will be continued as per the schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much. Uh, goodbye. Take care and God bless.